So recently, me and my girlfriend, we just broke up. And that was my first relationship, that was my first breakup. And I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, guys. Guys, it honestly sucks. It, it, it's one of the worst feelings, but don't let that scare you from being in a relationship, for being, for being vulnerable with another person. Because just because the outcome isn't desirable does not mean that that wasn't the right person to pursue at that time. And so there's this quote that says, it is better to have loved and lost than to never have loved at all. And so I do not regret the relationship. I do, I will cherish all of the memories. But there's something about being in a relationship where you're loving on that person, where you're caring for that person. But you gotta understand that you yourself are one of those people that need to be cared for, that need to be loved. And so maybe this is a time where God's saying, David, don't pursue anybody else. Pursue a relationship with God, but maybe also pursue you. Take care of yourself, love yourself. And in this video, I have four ways, four easy ways that you can apply this to your life where you can love yourself, take care of yourself, whatever you wanna word it. Because guys, although singleness, being single isn't like the most proud adjective like I would call myself, it's an important phase in your life. Jesus, he was single. A lot of people who had strong faith and were dedicated to God's mission are single. So it's not inherently a bad thing. Number one, one way that after a breakup, one way for you to heal and to love and take care of yourself is faith. Like if you need to be loved, go to the one who loves you the most. And that's God, the one who knows you the most, the one that created you, the one who made you in his image. And so when you feel like God is um, not providing you with the things that you want, it's kind of hard to be uh, faithful or to, to see him working because sometimes when he's blessing with, with things like your finances or with your relationship, those are tangible things that you see and you're like, wow, God is faithful. But sometimes God is working behind the scenes and that's the time when you really need strong faith. Next, it's family and friends. I think you guys can agree with me that when you're in a relationship, sometimes you can kind of get into a tunnel vision where you're like, this person that I'm with in this relationship, they're everything, they're, they're my all. They're my everything. And that's the person I'm gonna take care of. That's the person that I'm gonna love on. That's the person that I'm gonna spend all my time in. And so we gotta understand that, guys, we have a community, not just the, our relationships, not just with the, uh, the person that we're with, but also with our family, with our friends. And understand that sometimes our whole backbone of our whole life is the friends that have been supporting us through this whole time, through the whole process of this new relationship that you jumped in. Your parents have been there since birth. And so I'm blessed to have amazing parents, amazing family, amazing friends. And now is the time that I, I always ask God, like, God, I don't have any time. Like, how am I supposed to, okay, David, no more complaining. Now you have time. So spend it with your friends. Have a slice of pizza. Talk to your brothers and sisters uh, every now when you have free time. Um, next is fitness. Sometimes when, especially when a breakup or you're depressed or you're, you go through anything like mentally um, that's, or emotionally that's difficult, you can start to get into your head and you're thinking, should it, blah, 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 like, bro, stop and so one way is like i i go i go i personally go to therapy and it's great to talk about things but sometimes to get out of overthinking you you don't think out of overthinking because here, here are the facts you're overthinking you're you're not in a right headspace you're not thinking uh rationally okay how do you get out of that oh i'm gonna i'm gonna think to get out of thinking like it doesn't make sense and so for me fitness is a big part of my life it's something where i can feel good physically, mentally, have comp have great confidence, as well as it's a way for me to build on my successes, where when I go to the gym, that builds momentum throughout my day, as well as I'm able to physically, not just emotionally, but physically, not just with the words, but physically, I, I can't believe how many times I said physically, but I, I wanna emphasize this, I'm able to physically express myself, which is so important. And lastly, it's finances. Now that I'm not buying dinners for two, now that I'm not buying a pair of movie tickets, it's time for me to reevaluate my short-term goals because your short-term goals, if you're not updating them regularly, then those aren't gonna be relevant goals for you to have, you know? Your interests change, your circumstances change. Now it's time to reevaluate your goals and to know what you need to do next. And so when it comes with finances, now it's time for me to save more. Now it's time for me to do all these different kind of things like maybe invest more or maybe I wanna read a book. Maybe it's time for me to uh, dedicate more hours to work or improve the way that I perform my job or maybe now is the perfect time for me to make more videos. So guys, there's opportunity all around us and sometimes singleness is the best time for you to work on yourself and assist and help other people around you. So I wanna end today's video with this verse. It's Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope 
and a future. And I know that one, that verse, it, everybody knows it, it gets overused, but it's so important because sometimes we always ask God, like, why? Like, why are these things happening? Like, how come you're not giving me the things that I want? Except you're giving me the things that I need. But sometimes like, I don't know, it gets so confusing. We always ask why. But it's important to have faith, not in the plan, but in the person who's making the plan. Because it's not so important to know what the plan's going to be. Because if God revealed everything about the plan, would you really need to have faith um, in God? Or would the plan just be stated facts of, oh, this is going to happen. Okay, so I don't need to have faith. But just understand that our God is someone we can trust in. Our God is someone we can love on. Or not love on, but our God is someone who loves us. And our God is the person who knows us the, the best. The who knows us well, the person that knows us from our mother's womb, who created us in his image. And God is a, is a, he knows everything. And so when we put our faith in him, um, we don't have to worry about what the plan is, but the fact that he's the one making the plan for our life is, uh, is amazing. And so I, I put my faith in Jesus. I put my faith in him at all times, whether I'm feeling good, no matter my circumstances, no matter my relationship status, Jesus is my king, and that's who I'm going to be faithful in during this time of singleness, sure. In this time of uh, new opportunities, if you, if you shall say it that way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys. Thank you for supporting the channel. And I hope you guys have a great week. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.